What's up, guys? <clears throat> Today's aim is let's compare graphs. Two, learn about the situations they represent. <laughs> Going crazy. All right, so lesson is lesson nine, comparing graphs. 9.1, population growth. This graph shows the populations of Baltimore and Cleveland in the 20th century. B of T is the population of Baltimore in year T. C of T is the population of Cleveland in year T. Here we've got the graphs. Baltimore is the solid line and Cleveland is a dashed line. So estimate B of 1930 and explain what it means in the situation. Okay, so they're looking for the population of Baltimore, because that's what B represents, based on 1930. So what is the population of Baltimore in the year 1930? So let's, Baltimore is a solid line, and I go up here and I see we've got 800,000 um, in the year 1930 right there. So we can say that in the year 1930, population of Baltimore is 800,000. Number two, here are pairs of statements about the two populations. In each pair, which statement is true? Be prepared to explain how you know. All right, so this first statement is saying that um, the population of Baltimore in the year 2000 is greater than the population of Cleveland in the year 2000. So if I look at the year 2000, I can see that the solid line is above the dashed line. So that means Baltimore is going to have a greater population than Cleveland. So I'm gonna circle this first part. And I can just tell by looking at the graph by seeing that the solid line is above the dashed line. In the year 1900, they also wanna know who has the higher population. So if I look here, that also happens to be the y-intercept, and my solid line is above my dashed line. They are certainly not equal. That would mean they intersected there, and that's not the case. We can see that Baltimore is above Cleveland in that case as well. Were the two cities' populations ever the same? If so, when? So like I just said, we're talking about intersection points. So here, here, are the only two intersections. So I can see at the year 1910. And then this year looks like it's a little bit past 1940, so I'll say 1942. The graphs intersect, implying the populations are the same. Now, I seriously doubt that they were exactly the same number. Um, you know, that would be very, very, um, very, uh, maybe one day of the year they happen to be on the same number, right? Because um, it's not going to, population changes every second. You know, someone's born, someone dies. But at some point, they had to have been the same if they crossed. All right, so that is all for 9.1.